to gauge your response to some visual stimulation. Hey everyone, how's it going? What's up? YouTube stream today. I was I was not sure if I was gonna do one. I was gonna do it on Twitch. I was gonna save it for when we hit 10k, but uh, I've got this lovely box of BT4, and I just couldn't wait until February or the end of the month to open it. Uh, what's up, Tippy? What's up, uh, Fennec? Hey, thank you so much for waiting for pretty much the entire time the stream's been scheduled. I appreciate that. Um, apologies when I'm opening if this is a little bit shaky uh, I've got a slightly better setup for card opening But I need a bit more of a solid table that I don't have right now uh, But hopefully it shouldn't be too bad Hey, what's up Crimson Dragon Slayer with that membership Craft, Lady of Chaldea Daniel uh, Arif Subkey, Christian Perez Dank Meme Time Machine That's a great username Do you guys think burning grandma's name to the Japan name in this set? It hits the worst. Do you think they will finesse the system and make it burning, Greymon? I so far they're going with dub names, so I think they will be. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Welcome. Uh, we'll let a couple of people come in. How are we doing? Oh, 30 viewers already. Lovely. Did two videos in one day. Well, this is a stream. This is a little bit less uh less difficult. I actually stream uh every pretty much every other day, sometimes a little bit less over on my Twitch. So if you want to go check that out, there's a link in the description. You boy says what? What? <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's just let's just fucking crack on. I think. Last Saturday, I subscribed to your channel after I watched a video about Digimon. Ah, thank you. Yeah, we're trying to do at least one video a week at the moment. We may go to two videos a week uh, in the future, like we did in December, but not right now. Uh, anyway, let's oh, just filter suddenly. There we go. Is it like I say? It's a bit shaky. Um. Rating people's fan Digimon. Maybe the problem with that kind of video is that I really hate being mean to people, but it would only ever be like positive ratings. I wouldn't do like a roasting lines or anything. All oh, right, there's fucking cellar tape. Oh, you know, it's fresh, baby. Hey, what's up, uh, Sean? Ocean Sean, how's it going? I think armors would work in the Digimantles with Digi Egg cards. Yeah, so um, in the new set, I won't say what the cards are because it's kind of a spoiler for the anime. Uh, but there is a set of cards that can evolve from level fours or level fives because they're kind of a form change. And I think that's really interesting. And I hadn't considered that before. So it's possible that if we do get armors, they might be able to digivolve from champions or rookies is something I was thinking. New digivolving toys would be nice. Oh God, I always forget about promo packs. Okay. They discontinued that? Discontinued what? Your videos are quenching my Digimon fix. I was supposed to visit Odaiba this year, but COVID. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Once COVID and stuff is resolved, I've got a big plan for a Japan trip. And I definitely want to go to Odaiba. So uh, let's. Uh, boom. Oh, okay. We got. Uh, oh, it's really bent. Oh, that's a shame. Got you, Kano, but it's really bent. What a shame. That's, that's come straight. Yoshino, sorry. That's come straight out of the pack like that. What a fucking, what a fucking, what the fuck? Damn, that sucks. Oh well. All right, let's do our first pack. I'm probably gonna butcher all these names. Thank God we got Proto in the chat. Who, uh, I'm not as hunched over. Okay, probably should have got scissors for this. But it's fine. Okay. Right. Memory. Be gone. And we've got that guy that I never remember the name of. We have got Flame On. Flame On. Uh, Tank Tramon. Leo. I love this Leo Mon. I talked about it in the video. Uh, I love how he's just got the Patamon and then you've got the Goblin Mon in the background. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, it was Yoshino. Uh, we've got Sound Birdmon. Lovely. And woo. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> There's our Greymon of the pack. That's just a regular rare. Uh, I really thought Victory Greymon was rare. I know that's um, Giant Greymon. Um, I really thought 
Victory Grey Mon was rare because it looks like it's really rare, but it's actually well, I say it is rare. Uh, super, secret, super rare rather. Any news on if they'll ever make a sell new Digimon toys now that Digimon has been rebooted? They already are. They're selling on Premium Bandai. They're selling the um, Digivice from this season, but it's pretty expensive. Yeah, the artwork's super good. Okay, we've got Cerberus Mon. Uh, Kudamon. The Aldemon option. Dolemon. Missimon. And uh, I'm not sure what the name of that option is, but it's um, back in... Yeah, Ga Ma Ga uh, Mega Mirage Galgamon, there we go. Jesus Christ takes me a while. Yeah, the art is so nice on BT4. Have you seen some of the BT5 cards? Oh my God, it is gorgeous. So I've actually, this is my third box of BT4 because I'm addicted to opening cards. I opened one just for myself and I pulled Lucemon on that. Um, so I don't know how well we're gonna do today, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, memory, be gone. Phantomon. Kudamon, oh, I see a shiny. That thing, Golemon. Oh, him! He's the evolution of the other guy we got before. And we've got Gogmamon. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. That's our first super rare of the pack. One, many more. I think I've already got like nine of those, but <laughs> still. Here we go. Bam. Do you guys want some music, by the way? I could put some Digimon music on in the background. I'm always annoyed when I listen to music. Memory, take that away. Uh, the Ogamon variant that's called like Ad uh, Fugamon? Fugamon? Uh, Griffon? No. What the fuck was that? Not Val. Evol is it Digital isn't a Valdemon? Is it just Griffomon? Devimon. That's the Devimon blocker, which is in my new BT4 deck. Hey, what's up, Jolly Jeepers? Wasn't getting any Japanese packs, but they're quite. Yeah, they're super cheap on Amazon JP. And every time I'm like, oh, maybe I, maybe I won't uh, get another pack. I'll wait till the, you know, new set comes out. I'm just like, nah, fuck it. Uh, Strabimon, Bushi Agumon, that's another staple. Hippogriffmon, that's it. Uh, Bushi Agumon is another staple of my new BT4 purple deck, purple yellow deck, and we've got Mac Agumon. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse. Um, my big hopes for this month. Here's my favorite Digimon, Wormmon, but Fanbeemon is on his tail. I guess the Wormmon line, because there's I don't love the Fanbeemon line as much as the Wormmon line. Uh, my only real hope this month, which means I'm not going to get it, when I get another BT 1.0, uh, B... what's it called? I guess just version 1.0 in the West. I'm really trying to pull that new metal, uh, the secret Metal Greymon parallel that looks like the one from the original card game. This box always look like big boys when you buy online. Yeah, I mean, I've also got massive hands. Like, I have got... I don't... Well, I mean, look, there's a card. There's my hand. I got I got big card boy hands. Uh, okay, Phantomon. Tobiumon or whatever. Strabimon. Oh, the yellow Wargrowmon. And it actually is supposed to be, like, yellow. And there's Pedomon in the background. Pukamon <laughs> uh, and Commandramon. Nice. Very nice. Nidhogmon and make a deck with it. Yeah, Nidhogmon's kind of crazy. They just added Nidhogmon to that Digital Tamers Reborn, actually, which I literally have not played in. Whoa, we got something. We got something. I'm trying not to look. Okay. <clears throat> Memory. Uh, some nice friends you got there, Davis. Thank you very much for the follow. I'm assuming that's on Twitch. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, Commandramon Rookie Rush is crazy. If you extend like Oops All Agumon to a Dragon uh, Rookie Rush, so like Mandramon, Agumon, all the Agumon variants, and like Gilmon, kind of crazy. I want to pull the Secret Lucimon. I think I pulled the regular Lucimon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've forgotten that guy's name already. Uh, Lyomon, Gogmon. Oh, that's like oh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Gaugamon. Uh, oh, Babungamon and Nidhogmon. Hey, speak of the devil. There he is. I do play a lot. We we only play obviously online because the UK is in lockdown, and most of my friends who play Digimon are uh, in a different country. But we play pretty regularly on my Twitch. Some nice friends you got there, Davis. Thanks for the follow, Brad Talons. Looks one you got was regular. The parallel has fall down mode. Right. Yes. Okay. I actually think I like the look of the art on the regular, but obviously you always want parallels. Been a while since I've been here. Happy New Year's, man. Hope all good comes your way. Thank you so much, Mr. Sister Fister. I still love your username. Yeah, we hit 9k this week. Uh, we should be on in the next sort of two weeks. We should hit 10k if 
my channel doesn't just die, which is very possible. Memory to the back. So we're going to do a big 10k celebration. Uh, I was hoping it might have aligned with when 1.0 comes out, but I'm not waiting to open 1.0. Uh, but, you know, if we can get to 10k by January 29th, that would be crazy. I'll have not liking the art of parallels. Right, exactly. I'm just like, yeah, that Lucimon's okay. Uh, okay, we've got Scorpiomon. Oh, that guy, the Coral. No. Uh, Kunemon. Oh, no, is that Dokunemon? Which one is that? Lalamon. That's, oh. I hate when I get an option as my rare, man. I always go, oh, one more. And there's never one more. Just fucking options. I know options are important. Uh, I think, yeah, Bielsamon's in, in the English set. Yep. It's in JP, obviously, but it's also in Vision. Dokunemon, yep. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, memory. Leomon. I'm trying to, like, frame it right. Okay, there we go. Uh, that guy who's never forgotten. Labramon. Galgamon. Koromon in training. And, oh, shit, the bed. There's our Rise Greymon. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, when you talk like that. Ah, shit. I was going to have the... Ah, shit, hold on. On, I was gonna have something set up for this, but I forgot to do it. Shit. Oh, and you're gonna watch me do this in real time, okay? Just, just, just pretend. Just pretend, okay? Woo! Okay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! <laughs> Shit. I forgot to fucking man. Okay. Right. Let's put that there. Let's switch to critical. Are you gonna do it? I don't know how fucking OBS works anymore. Okay, restart source with There we go. Yeah, okay. baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! <laughs> okay, sure. Right. Okay, shut up, critical. Uh <laughs> I was gonna set that up, but I forgot. God damn it. Oh well, anyway, we've got, uh, got Rise Greymon. Uh, probably not. I don't, well, he does do Pokemon cards openings. I don't really watch Critical's videos, not in like a dismissive way, but I just, I don't. It's like 30, 35. Oh shit, Pro with the price checks. I didn't even think about it. Thanks, bud. Memory, be gone. Uh, oh, that's annoying me because I do know that Digimon, but the name's gone. Uh, Volcrabon? Bugamon, that guy. That thing, and we got the tie. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hey, what's up, Daniel? You get the great BT4 Great Legend. Well, so far, the really good cards we've pulled are Rise Greymon, Nidhogmon, and Gogmamon. Deatir? Deatir? Oh, Deatirmon? Okay, gotcha. Opening up to other games, did Yu Gi Oh? Well, you know, Charlie, if you ever want to collab with a huge Digimon channel. <laughs> I'm always down to do Digimon card pack openings. Uh, memory, be gone. Uh, that's actually a really good option. Uh, Meteormon, no, Icemon, Meteorm, Meteormon. Phantomon, Deatiamon, oh Jesus, well I've pulled it now. <laughs> We've got Mirage Gaugamon. Okay, I need to get a less shaky table, man. Annoying the hell out of me. Go away, Ty. Oh, you just see the slow pile of cards building up and slowly encroaching all the commons. The Atrimon, I don't know, man. There's a lot of weird dinos. And then someone in my chat, I think it was Tippy, was saying there's no horses. It's kind of funny. Um, what's... I'm not used to streaming on YouTube, man. It's a whole new world. Even though I used to stream on YouTube all the time, it's all changed now. Okay, this Valdemon thing again. Isn't that one of the Holy Digimon in 2020? Hey, what's up, Double A? How are you doing? Oh, my chat is slower over here than it is. Funny. Uh, Neo Devimon. Oh, Flamon. Flamon. Uh, oh, I knew the name before and I've forgotten it again. The Monochromon variant. Sunflowermon, and we've got Lilamon. 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 Get better at not revealing the back card. Bad luck, man. Your pulls will actually change, even though you've already opened the card. You reveal the back one. Okay. Here you gone. Sanctramon. Folktramon. Uh, that is literally just Otamamon. 
Scrapleomon option, Cockroachmon, and Darkdramon option. Uh, you not that many super rares, just a lot of regular rares. I've only gotten about four so far. I feel like the pull rates feel better on JP. They're apparently not, but I think they feel better because there's less in a pack. So you're hitting rares more often, I guess. Or like it less like there's less space between rares. Crazy to think Wormon can actually be a danger to the digital world. Hmm. Probably Digimon seems specifically tied to Andrew Andrew Wormon. Oh, in the show, you mean? I was like, there's a lot of holy Digimon that aren't Andromon and Andromon. Okay, so, Leomon. Gab- oh, uh, yeah, Black Gabamon. Ghostmon option. Oh, that's that cool. Isn't that like a reference to an old card? Isn't that supposed to be a reference to an old card? Gotsumon, uh, 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 what's its fucking ja Japanese name? Like, v Vritramon? Vritramon? And we got Thomas. Great Tremon. Call it. It's up to you. I'm no sub purist. Vitramon. Vitamon. PS Vitamon. Okay. Memory to the back. Falcomon. Blimpmon. Talked about that in my new video. And I don't know why I didn't bring up that it looks like fucking Gardramon. I kind of forgot in the, in the thing of it all. Uh, but it really does look like Gardramon. As Proto and a few other people pointed out. Ben and Greymon is the cool name anyway, that's true. Seraphimon, Ophanimon, and Cherubimon are specifically the great arc. Uh, Black Gabumon, uh, Cerberusmon, ooh, um, uh, anyway, and Ghostmon. <laughs> I've already got like four of those before anyone freaks out. <laughs> I fucking hate Meikumon. Someone told me to fuck off and die in my comments for saying I hate Meikumon, and I'm like, it's a fictional cat. Please, please calm down. Uh, that was Rasiel. Rasielmon? Which is like Meikumon's alt. Okay. Uh, Falcomon. Committed to that thing now. Uh, Hippogriffmon. <laughs> Scorpiomon. Jowmon. And an option. I won't rip anymore. Don't worry. Unless it's an Amekumon. Unless it's a Amekumon. <laughs> then I'll rip it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Memory. Uh, Grappliamon. Ripped Amekumon, but it was your only one. <laughs> uh, we got the Savers Agumon. We got Flamon. We got the Gogmon option. We got this cool... I actually like this card a lot. It looks so nice. That might be another one that's based on an old card, but I could be wrong. And, oh, Garamon? That's Garamon, right? I'm like, that's okay, but yeah, I'm gonna kill your granddad or whatever the fuck you did. I don't, I don't speak Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel like I'd like Yu-Gi-Oh. I just, I'm bad at getting into anime if they aren't like 12 episodes long. Zero Six Falcomon is that? I think there's both Falcomon. I think they already have Zed Garurumon. Sorry, my bad. I'm always confused. Lyomon, the Boot to Bumon, uh, Geogreymon. Uh, Gotsumon, Bakemon. Ooh, who the fuck are you? Is that, um... Oh, fucking, what's his name? Oh, 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 something. That's not the one that's from Adventure, right? From Adventure 2020, that's the new one. Oh, uh, uh, is it Orochimon? Who am I confusing him with? Ibonwimon, that's who I'm confusing him with. That is Orochimon. I was thinking of how many packs in? Quite a few, actually. We've only got, we went through this pack fast, Jesus. Three, four, seven packs left out of 24. How the fuck did that happen so quick? Jesus Christ, I've been a machine today. Rochimon evolves to a Bonwumon, that's probably where I'm getting. I'm tired. Um, I've just, I guess we'll shuffle all of these now. And see what happens. See, I, I did this last time. And I got a bad pull at the end. But then I did it. I always seem to get. I always seem to be like these last two will always be bad. I'm going to open those first. Whatever I was going to open last always fucking sucks. Always like an option and nothing else. Okay. So the back. Uh, oh. Oh, help me out. 
Going on, my favorite Digimon anime besides Frontier will either be Data Squad or Fusion because they're both really good season. Yeah, I like uh, I like Data Squad. Frontier is really good too. After opening the English packs with 12 cards. Yeah, it's crazy how quickly you can fucking burst through these. Oh, there it is. Actually, we're gonna... In the bin. Uh... <laughs> Neo Devimon. I've already curled one of those. Oh my god. What's that? What are those? Yeah, it has. Data Squad was kind of refreshing. And adults can have Digimon, so hey, that's true. That's true. The fuck is that? That's Bancho Golemon? Oh my god. And then we got the Black Wall Ground one. That's black, yellow, war ground on. Black. Okay, so that's kind of ass. Kind of ass, but it's not ass ass. Little bit of ass. Memory, be gone. Beamon, option, yellow, ground on. Gaumon, Edomon. <laughs> uh, the thing that isn't a Golemon pre evolution that they added in the past couple of years, but looks like one. I think maybe it can, but it's not like. Supposed to be. I always, I don't know his name. And we've got Yoshino. So that was the two packs that I thought were going to be ass. But let's see. I do. Oh, I got, oh no, I got four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lizamon. Yeah, probably. Probably. Every other card I pull, I'd be like, dude, I, I, I know I'm a Digimon content creator. I should be better, but like, so, so Nadizamon, yeah, that's got the fuck, yeah, so Nadizamon. I know I should be better, but there's just so many of them. It's just fucking hard, man. I try my best. Labramon, Red Otamamon. That's literally just called Otamamon Red, by the way, if you think I'm getting the name wrong. Uh, Meteomon, Agumon, Dobamon, and Darkdramon. Ba 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 It's just a rare. Okay. Didn't get into the series after Data Squad. Well, I'm trying my hardest to become, like, more of a fan. And actually, ooh, I've seen something. And and go back through everything. Watch the stuff I have watched. Rewatch re the stuff I have watched. Watch the stuff I haven't watched. So much medium. That's my goal for 2020. I've watched every piece. you have consumed every piece of equally available digital media. Hey, Geo Greymon. Uh, that option. Pidomon. I'm not going to call him Pidomon. Okunemon, uh, uh, oh, Anubismon, and, oh, okay, another different Rise Greymon. He's also bent, straight out of the pack. Must have gotten hot or something in transit. Sucks, man. It's not the end of the world, because I'm more of a, I'm a collector, not really a seller, but, man, what a shame. Yeah, must have gotten hot and cold in transit. Uh, didn't know Dundevimon. Dundevimon is fucking awesome in this set. Dundevimon fucks hardcore. Okay, right. Grapleomon option. Gaumon. That guy. Is it Depthmon? Divermon? Something like that. Tanktramon. Uh. Lobomon? No, not Lobomon. Yeah, Lobomon. And. Oh, Valdemon. Okay, it's just a rare. But what's my least favorite Digimon? Mm, Shakuamon. Hey, what's up, Andre? Welcome. A little bit of... Once I get interest spin out, exactly. And that's my big fear. That if I dive too deep and don't watch anything but Digimon forever, just... Interested. Okay, this is the penultimate pack, okay? Memory, be gone. Udamon. Option. Golemon. Oh, um... Oh, I can't remember the bloody name, but they're the, the Zubamon Digivolution. Oh, okay. That's, that's just a rare? Chaosmon's just a rare? What? Are you kidding me? Sakatamon, yeah. That's crazy that that's just a rare. That's a really nice card. Wow. Sakatamon. I love the. I really wish white would become a color in its own right. I don't know what it would do to separate itself, but like sometimes when you pull a, a white, <laughs> I'm gonna try and phrase this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm trying to fucking 
be some sort of weird fucking arsehole. When you pull a white card, it just looks so different. It's just like, ooh. Um, okay. This is the last pack. We've we've burnt through this in how long have we been live for? Like twenty minutes? Oh my god, like half an hour. Jesus. Do you wanna do something else after this? <laughs> Maybe we'll just do a short stream today. Um I'm thinking of doing some members only streams, so if you want to become a channel member, you can. It's totally optional, you don't have to. Just toying with the idea. Uh yeah, dude, like these these boxes, they're so short. Uh, and when you know the cards a little bit better and you're not like, oh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Just I don't think this is gonna be a good one. Anyway, finishing it off, we've got Blimpmon, we've got Grapliomon, we've got the Blocker Devimon, we've got Makumon. We've got oh, what are you? And it's a fucking option, man. Man, <laughs> really? Uh, well, a little bit of ass, a Sukumon attack, maybe. Man, well, this this box was worse than my last. My last box was my best box. Um, shame. But I mean, to be fair. Can I really complain with these polls? I, I don't think I can. By the way, does anyone need some memory counters? <laughs> Leave her alone. Oh, I could rip make him one. Oh no, I guess we're gonna have to leave it out to chat to decide the fate of this Makumon. This little innocent. This little innocent card rip the Makumon to release the stress of getting an option. New card game is super worth playing Tyrant, and there's so many ways you can play it online right now. Don't rip, rip, let it rip. The fight for the century. We can't do polls on YouTube. Twitch is much better, by the way. Kill the bitch. Save the kitten. I don't know, man. Making one's just emblematic of how disappointed I was with Digimon Try. Let it live. Don't rip it. Death. Rip it. Dun 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 Akumon for your crimes against Digidestined What say you in your defense? Please don't fucking kill me, Governor I wanna live I wanna live Oh shit she fought back <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. She's not dead. It's okay. She's just made Crackmon now. <laughs> That's the worst joke I've ever made. <laughs> That's the lamest joke I've ever made on these streams. Listen, man. I know, it was really bad. I feel ashamed of myself. So you can still read the card text, right? So it's all it's still playable. All right, goodbye, Gatamon ripoff. But listen, look, guys. <laughs> listen. Look at all these. Look at all these cards we have. What am I gonna? What am I gonna do with all these cards? Um. Right. Well, anyway, we got pretty good pulls. I recommend everyone in chat does the same. Hey, what's up, Megadong? Got some pretty... That's a really tasty. I'm assuming that's the parallel of this one. Yeah, BT417. So we got the regular and the parallel for that one, so that's pretty nice. What I might do, because I'm not really fin like done streaming, if I'm honest with you, um, I want to go for a little bit longer, is I might BRB and go grab my box of cards and show you all my, my binders. Show you a couple of the cards I've got if you guys are up for that. Um, I like Gogmon a lot. Gogmon's a cool design. And, yeah, that's fine. Nidhogmon, though. Yeah, you guys want to see my cards? Okay, so we're going to do a quick BRB. I'll, uh, I'll put these cards somewhere safe for now. Look at all those chickens! Yeah, we'll do a quick BRB. And then go grab yourselves a drink in the meantime. And I'll be right. Should I? Can I change the stream title? YouTube streaming has changed. Yeah, dude, side loading binders are so much better. 
Like, it's just, like, I, the difference is night and day. Like, you, it's easier to get top-loading binders, but once you've had a side-loading binder, it's just like, oh, Getting cards in and out is a dream. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave the title the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to BRB really, really quickly. Uh, literally, like, 30 seconds, just go get my box, and we'll come back, and we'll have a look at some of the uh, cards. Okay, BRB. <laughs> Oh my god, he's back. Batman is back. So, <laughs> let me back up a little bit. So now, <laughs> ignore that for a second because I'm going to do a bit. Here we go. So, you may think, oh, Khan likes Digimon cards, right? But how in, how in could Fatboy possibly be? How in to this game could he be? Well, I've got this little binder here. I got this binder here. I got this binder here. And I've got the promotional thing <laughs> that they gave out with like the first wave of 1.0. And I've got my rule book that I printed out myself because there isn't a proper full scale one. So I printed out the 1.0 rule book and I made the cover glossy. And this is my English cards. <laughs> so first of all, let's go over my BT4, which is here, I want to say. No, this is that's my this is my first first two binders of uh, this is the original. This is my BT1 because I bought next to no BT1 in Japan, but I have a little mini binder with BT1 in it. But more importantly, this is the end of BT3. And then here we go. Here's BT4. So, so far, I've pulled every, actually, pretty much all the way. I've got a full run through of the first reds, most of the blues. Struggle to show all of these, but there you go. Uh, let's make them on. See, I've, I've got, I've got all the cards I ripped. They're safe. I'm not a complete monster. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna totally be a cunt about it. <laughs> uh, there's the Nidhog mon, Nid Nidhog mon that I already pulled, and I think if we head towards the back, oh yeah, I've got some of these, which is nice. And there you go. So I've I've got this out. Oh, so there is a secret rare Chaos mon that I already pulled. We got some nice promos there, and there at the back is the regular Lusamon. So I am completely anal about these. These are not sorted by cuteness level. These are sorted by set. And if I don't have a card, I will deliberately leave a slot for it so that I can come back and cross-reference what I don't have. So again, that's BT3 and 4. Here's my English stuff. There's uh, a lot of it. Jesus Christ, I'm such a fucking dork. Uh, there's the Gallant Mon that Scarfy got me for Christmas. Oh, he pulled it and gave it to me because he's... Right? Metal Siege Mon that I pulled, Puppet Mon, all the usual junk from 1.0. We've got a War Grey Mon there. So he's filling in the set. 
Uh, we've got Piedmon. There's someone asked about Bielzamon before. Oh, sorry, Diaboromon's there. Where's Bielzamon? Where's Bielzamon? Is it at the end of the set? There's Bielzamon. That's just the regular Bielzamon now. Pokemon in the anime. And then we've got some... A little bit of BT3 at the back. There's not much BT3 yet. We've got Lilithmon, because, you know... Big titty waifu. I sure can. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> um... And we got some promos at the back. Now, again, that seems like a lot of cards, right? All these, like nine fucking billion binders, right? Seems like a lot of cards. <laughs> Until you consider. <laughs> Until you consider. This is my box of spares. <laughs> that's my English spares. And that's my JP spares. There's my structure decks. There's some fucking memory, right? Here's my card box that I imported from Japan. I know you well you get a ton. Like this is like this is like all my Japanese cards. So that to give you an idea, right? So actually to give you an idea. This is BT1 through 4. I had three boxes, well, two boxes of BT4, two boxes of BT3 and one of BT2 and a couple of BT1. That's all my spares across four sets of Japan. That's all my spares off two, three boxes of English across three sets, but only really one, two and a half sets because there's not much of BT3. Like you can see uh, that's BT1 here. Oh, is it BT2? Yes, yeah, so that's options from BT1. That's all my spare options. Like, there's a tattoo. Oh, I've also got a random Grimojimon from the original card game for some reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but I have that because the rest of them are behind me. Um, yeah, you, you will get a lot of cards, right? <laughs> this is my physical red deck, which is kind of a bit of a hodgepodge right now because there's not all the cards I want in English. Um, but we've got lovely back black sleeves that my lovely mother bought me for christmas and also <laughs> another well this thing is these you know these are collectibles it's better to be made of trees than made of uh, uh plastic oh <laughs> oh you thought the stunting and the flexing was over huh this is my yellow deck which i also have in imported japanese yellow sleeves <laughs> With the divider, because, you know, why not? Um, again, just needless. Just needless amounts of stunting for no reason. Listen, Tippy, I have an addiction, all right? I have a problem in my brain. <laughs> Do I have the other sleeves that I bought? Yeah. And then... Oh, Sensei Cereal! With the 9.99. I'm a fairly new subscriber. I love how funny you are. Seem to make me laugh, laugh at least twice every video. I also love naming all the Digimon on the cards behind you. Thank you so much, Sensei Serial. That's a great username, by the way. Uh, thank you for <laughs> funding my crack habit. Some of it also, well, most of it, to be fair, does go on actual channel upgrades and stuff that you've probably been seeing recently. Yeah, those Magna Angemon sleeves are real pretty. I've also got these. There we are. Thank you, Sensei Serial. Very cool of you. Uh, and we've got this, these nice Agumon sleeves as well, which I imported. So, I mean, again, this looks like so much, and it is a lot, like I've bought a lot, but this is only three boxes. The problem is, I mean, if I, if I pull out, like, this is BT1 red, okay? If I pull this out, like, it's just a lot of the same cards over and over again, because you are getting 12 in every booster. So, I mean, if you buy one booster... You're getting that much. 
get a fat stack out of a booster. So I didn't get the vintage metal Greymon, man. I got the regular one, but I didn't get the fucking special boy. And it haunts me every day. I hope that's, that's why I keep buying boxes. Or why I will be buying two more boxes of 1.0. <laughs> and then probably like a bunch more boxes of the other set. Um, because I really want that Metal Greymon. I really want that Metal Greymon. But he is eluding me. Um, oh yeah, these are the structure decks. Well, yeah, I mean... I hope I'll be ready for tournaments. Like, there's online tournaments, but I don't really have much interest in them. But also, like, deck building is a whole other fucking art and a skill. Um, you'll also end up with literally millions of these by the time you're done. I think that's just PT4. <laughs> um, but yeah, so suffice to say, I like Digimon cards. And again, I'm not even spending stupid money you know like this looks like i spent tons of money i i haven't um like don't know what an estimate would be but price up you know three english boxes five or six japanese boxes like and then the japanese boxes are much cheaper than the english boxes uh, also my mum <laughs> my mum knits and crochets and she made me my own dice bag which i can use for all sorts of things and it's got a little counters in there so if i'm playing diaboramon and i haven't printed any off i can have little diaboramon tokens got a little bag with it a bag which is very cute uh is that metal greymon good the metal greymon's pretty good but yeah it's mainly just about having the parallel art i would probably not play it although i think i, I think if i'm honest with you all this is oh by the way and i am not someone who's trying to like get cards to resell them and I will illustrate to you why I'm not, because... Oh yeah, this card divider you get in this, uh, this thing's really cool as well. Nice. Uh, I will illustrate to you why I'm not a someone who's trying to resell for profit. Because I have that Metal Greymon, the non-parallel one, uh, in, my, in my deck. Uh, and then I also... <laughs> I'm also running Omnimon. <laughs> so yeah, I don't give a fuck about reselling. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Hilario? What decks? Like I said, this is my this is my pretty run of the mill red um, Omnimon deck which I've built. I've got this one. Like I say, uh, oh no, I don't think there's anything wrong with reselling, but I think there's the at all. In fact, reselling's fine. It's just that I think people have um, a sort of thing that it's like, oh, well, you're just flipping it for money. And it's like, well, even if people are, like, it's not a problem. Uh, but I'm not even like, oh, I'm going to make a bunch of money by getting in early. Nope, I just fucking love these cards. <laughs> I don't care if I make a cent back. Um, this is my yellow recovery deck. So you can see, like, this is one of my favorite cards in the whole game. Uh, Magnangemon, which lets you recovery. Yeah, like, I might end up selling one day, um, but I'd be happy enough to take, you know, non-graded price. Like, I'm not trying to get it fucking graded and then go through that whole process. I'm just like, cool, man, I got this Omnimon. It's probably worth, like, 20 quid at this point. Sure, there you go. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of my Digimon card collection. <laughs> it's stupid. And I'm going to need another one of these uh, huge boxes of storage boxes by the time 1.5 comes out, probably. Ugh, Jesus. Oh, I've also got this Battle Arena mat, which I got off Amazon, which is probably, it's definitely not official, uh, but I don't know uh, the source of the art or anything, so it might be stolen art. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it, really, guys. Um, I just wanted to, to open that. I was going to wait, but it was just sat there nagging at me, and the video did really well. Where, Mon, are you okay? The video did really well. There you go, that's it. Now we're on webcam. You can see the scale of of this box it's pretty crazy uh i think i do want to build a good yellow deck yellow's so fun yellow and purple i think are the most fun to play black's good fun too um but yellow purple is where i'm going into bt4 i going to get my own cards yeah for sure it, it is it is like a, it's bigger than a shoe box i've got size 11 feet 
But yeah, I mean, it's just... Oh, we were talking about side-loading cards. So, uh, side-loading binders, like this one, I much prefer, because you can pull cards out sideways, put them in, and it's backed. I don't mind... Uh, like, this is a pretty little top-loading one. Um, I don't mind top-loading, but you can easily tear them upside down. BCW 5,000 count box? I, I don't know. Yeah, BCW monster storage box. My mum got, again, this was a present for Christmas, which I have already filled up. Although I could take some stuff out and use the, uh, yeah, stuff falling out. And like I said, I'm not in transit very often with them or anything, but it's still just one of those things that I want to be careful of. I don't want to lose cards randomly. I think War Greymon will be the only one in every color. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I could see... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I don't know. I could see eventually another Greymon, like Shine or Rise, ending up as the as a multiple colors. Um, Because we already have a green Agumon, but we don't have a green War Greymon. So that's missing. Blue, uh, we don't have. And purple, we don't have. Um... I think we're more likely to see like Black War Greymon become a purple card than we are to see regular War Greymon. How many rows are in the box? Uh, four. Four rows. Something to have a market boom in the future. It's already huge. Um, like everywhere sold out, pretty much worldwide. Uh, even in the UK, I was super surprised. Apparently, my local card store like had a bunch of interest, more than any launches they've seen in the past couple of years. Uh, yeah, purple purple or grey mon is definitely possible. It it's just I feel like we're more likely to get a purple black war grey mon to work with mummy mon and Aru Kenny mon. You can already run purple black and do that. Uh, but yeah, this 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 game it's huge in Japan from what I can tell, comparatively. But it's hard to tell success outside of things have sold out because we're still in COVID, and and COVID is a crapshoot. Like we don't know. You know, if this had launched in a year where people can meet up, I could have seen it being massive. Um, especially, you know, if it had hit during the summer rather than November. Uh, I think I think it could have been a big one. And I think it will be a big one. I think it's got legs. And I think Digimon does care about the card game at the very least becoming like a global brand. And there's a lot of effort there. Uh, and the person in charge, uh, seems he's been on DigiNavi and stuff, and he seems pretty interested. Have I got Wormmon? Um, probably. Wormmon was in BT3, I think. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure I got Wormmon. Yep. Camera back on. But, oh. Oh, what the fuck? Try that again, shall we? Oh, it's decided to go to 4-3. Thank you, camera. Very cool. There we go. Uh, yeah, where Mon is there, along with Lock Mon. Stuff. You are, unfortunately, little Choyo. It happened so quick. I forgot just how little, um, how few cards are in these Japanese boxes. Uh, but we're just hanging out for a little bit at the end here. But we've got some good pulls. I will unlist this stream, let it process and stuff, uh, and then we'll probably... We will run it. Uh, we'll just publish it, I think. I was going to take it down and edit it, but... Okay. Terrymon's super cute in this game. Um, there's a lot of really nice cards that I like in BT3. <laughs> of course, my favourite being... Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Feels like this month is going fast. See, I disagree, man. I talked about this a lot. January is such a slow month. Um, I think because of like Christmas, like a lot of things are happening in December. Mayan faces server. I don't know who faces. Um, I love the new Terry Amon assistant. Yes. Oh my God. So they, so they added COVID denier Agumon, uh, and assistant Terry Amon to BT. Uh, so BT is just, I actually don't know what BT stands for, but it's the categorization of the sets. So set four, set five. Um, but yeah, 29th, if you're trying to get on board, 
get in touch with your local game store. There has been some issues, so uh, because of COVID, uh, structure decks are not going to be part of the 29th drop, as far as I'm aware, but to be fair, you don't really need structure decks. They're good, they're nice. You get a free booster, and there are some structure decks exclusive cards, which you might want to put into a deck, but you can wait for them. Um, but it should be the case that most places, but like I say, check with your local game store. Uh, I luckily don't have to pre-order. I just have to say like, hey, I want this many and they go cool. Um, but yeah, check with your local game store if you need to pre-order. If you do want to get the game. I'm not being paid by Bandai. Fucking wish I was. Uh, I just really like this game. But you know, Bandai, if you want to reach out, man. You want an official UK partner? I'm just saying. I bought a lot of your shit. <laughs> Uh, the red one has the best card in the game. Are we referring to War Greymon? New stuff is expensive in Australia. Yeah, I've heard that's like a, a pretty big problem in general with both Australia and Canada. Is they seem to get shafted a lot on both like conversion rates and like general prices. Oh, Gaia Force. Gaia Force is pretty good, but it's not like the strongest. Like it's a good option, but it's the only option in base set 1.0 that kills active uh, certainly that can kill rested it does cost like eight memory so it's it's not broken or anything it's pretty decent though and yeah you probably are going to want to run those digimon and pokemon shining fate i'm going to see bro yeah <clears throat> i haven't collected pokemon cards in a long time i went through a bit of a pokemon card phase but i never got in heavy uh, but digimon has just i think because it's the ground floor like i'm not jumping in at like a random time I feel more like, ooh, like, I can really actually get a good collection going here. So, yeah, it's a good game. Um, <clears throat> I was going to someone said something before. Hope Bandai produces enough cardboard for the official English launch. I, I think there's going to be enough, but COVID is the, uh, is the main problems. Love your videos. Please stay awesome and keep it up. Thank you so much, Morgan. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Very kind of you. Iron Faces server. I don't know who Faces is. This, is this like a updog thing? Am I supposed to be like, who's Face? Go mama. Yeah, the, the cards look so good. Future card buddy fight has some good potential. Uh, I'm going to be checking out a card store in a few weeks. I don't have anything out right now. Right? Yeah, no, so 29th will be when cards will launch globally, or at least mostly globally. I know Korea and stuff. Apparently not getting any, which fucking sucks. Um, there are English cards and Japanese cards out. You can import Japanese cards. Sure. Massive lunatic like me. Um, so yeah, probably no YouTube streams until 29th. Everything goes to plan. You never know when COVID's going to disrupt something, but hopefully. Uh, definitely make me want to do some digi art tomorrow. Am I in London? No. Digi art. Oh, well, Aaron, if, you're, uh, if you've got Twitter, uh, at Khan underscore EX, just at me with your art. I'd love to see some Digimon art. Started playing Vanguard near the beginning, so I can say it makes it easy to stick with the game for a long time. All right. Play Digimon World Redigitize. I'm playing it on my 3DS right now. I was going to try and stream it, uh, but the translated version has some issues in Citra, uh, which is hard to troubleshoot because it's only just come out. But like animated cutscenes and stuff, the base version works fine, but the translated CIA or .3DS, .3DS uh, seems to fuck up a little bit so i won't be streaming redigitized but i have been playing it good game i like it so far probably my favorite first couple hours of a world game that i've played so far which deck in your opinion is overhyped i don't know you know i mean i don't pay a ton of attention to like the community for the card game i'm not in any of the discord servers or anything i would say yellow gets a lot of hate but i feel like it's more balanced than people give it credit for I think a, like a lot of people play purple <laughs> and that's what made me stop playing purple because it's like everyone's like oh you can bring Digimon back from the dead and just everyone plays it but who do I care like if you want to play the game you play the game your way I'm excited for your tag team play yeah so I will be playing uh concurrently uh Digimon Cyber Sleuth we're gonna try and finish that off and Digimon Tag Tamers I am also gonna be doing other stuff like tomorrow on Twitch we're streaming modded among us so it's not just all Digimon on my Twitch, uh, but we will be doing tag team is on Wonder Swan. Is that translation is fully done? Pretty cool. Uh, next order, I started next order. I got it for myself for my birthday. I liked it, but it just didn't quite. I, I the toilet thing 
just it annoys the fuck out of me. Yeah, I'll be doing Hacker's Memory once I've done Cyber Sleuth. I'm not loving Cyber Sleuth as much as I thought I would, but I think I will like uh, Hacker's Memory a lot more. But I've already started. I'm already like into Chapter 7 of Cyber Sleuth. I want to finish Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, Hacker's Memory. And then maybe at some point we'll actually play a Digimon game that I've actually played. <laughs> Which is not that many. I didn't really grow up on Digimon games. I was much more of like an anime cartoon, I would have called it back then. And like, I collected the cards, I... um comics like that video i did the magazines i had a bunch of those but i didn't really play like a lot of the digimon games growing up i did i had digimon world but i was terrible at it i mean we're talking when it came out like pre well maybe game faqs existed but i didn't have a stable internet connection at that point uh <laughs> so like um i was just always getting new on and getting frustrated and never playing it but i played the first like couple hours a lot growing up <laughs> And then every time I get a fucking new memon and I'd give up <clears throat> my Digimon would die or whatever. Uh just finish Cyber Sleuth and it gets good. Yeah, I, I think I'm re getting to the point where I'm like, okay, hopefully the momentum's gonna pick up now. But just seven chapters in is so long to like stick with something. I can remember we didn't do it for me too much really outside. I don't mind that. Like I <laughs> one of my favorite RPGs of all time is Final Fantasy X, and I really like X2. The sequel is fucking stupid, don't get me wrong. But that's like a bunch of reused assets, and I kind of like that. Hope we'll get some news on Digimon Survive. So people keep saying in spring or April we're going to get Survive news. I can't find any source on that. Um, if there is source on that, that's fine. But there will certainly be an update on Survive at some point, whether or not it's coming out or whether it's cancelled. I guess we'll, uh, guess we'll find out. Oh, that's something as well. I'm not really a big Pokemon fan these days. I never was as big of a Pokemon fan as I was a Digimon fan. Uh, but I will be reacting to, like, a bunch of gaming stuff that's coming up. So there's probably going to be a Pokemon pref uh, conference in February. That'll be on Twitch. There's a Resident Evil presentation on January 21st. That'll be on Twitch. So if you want to see me reacting to gaming stuff, which is in the description. Uh, Akka's Memory was more of an engaging story. I think that's what I'm more looking forward to. Uh, nothing wrong with reusing assets, but it felt like there was nothing new besides a few Digimon. I see, I see. New Mons all the time. Yeah, I just, I always got the shitty Digivolutions. I was just bad at it, I guess. Didn't understand it. Start playing the card game, you're going to have Pyeldramon. So I believe by end of February, Pyeldramon will be in the global set. It's, uh, Pyeldramon was in BT3. Yeah, Pyeldramon. Um... Digimon Survive 2022, I, it wouldn't surprise me, and I would much rather the game be delayed. We've seen very prominently recently, like Cyberpunk. Hey, what's up, Paddy? Yeah, we're just wrapping up, to be fair. We just did the big box opening, and then we're going to be ending up. Um, the Yo's All Purpose Channel, September is Johto, but I think, yeah, maybe, bud. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'd rather, like, like I said in that video, Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, delayed game is eventually good, a rush game is forever bad. So I would rather game take another year be good especially in the middle of covid you know what i mean like i was way too young for the original digimon i got to know it from airing re-airings on tv tobias i am 27 years old i turned 28 this year oh god um so yeah i was there from the beginning survivor's so elusive we're looking for news about getting news right new pokemon design to, to be fair i actually don't mind the new pokemon designs and I, like i enjoyed sword and shield but it's just not it's just not doing anything that I'm really, like, crazy for. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Still we're into Pokemon due to the current season of the anime. Yeah, Journeys looks fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't love Sword and Shield. It was fine. And I like Sun and Moon, honestly, but I think the last game I really, truly gave a fuck about was X and Y. Uh, where can I get the cards? Because I really want to start collecting them. Sensei, by the way, shout out again. Thank you, Sensei, for the uh, super chat before. That was super cool of you. Um... You're going to have to contact your local game store. Depending on where you are, if you're in America, you might be able to find a website that's selling them. Uh, just Google, literally just Google Digimon cards, like purchase or whatever, or click the shopping tab on Google. But if you've got a local card game store, get in touch with them. See if you can pre-order. Um, we don't know what the situation will be because 29th of January is like the launch, not a special pre-sale or anything. So it may end up being the case, much like the Dragon Ball game, which is also a Bandai Toei game. 
that it might end up in like Target in America and stuff, but we really just don't know at this point. It's all kind of that's the main problem I have with the card game releases. The communication is okay. It's not great. It could be better. Uh buh, 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 buh. Digimon Next Order was kind of a remake of Digimon World. Don't want to survive as a remake of the Wonder Swan games. Mm. I see what you're saying, the isometric combat thing. I don't think it's a remake of the Wonder Swan games. It's possibly inspired and is referencing it, but but Next Order is like a almost direct kind of reboot slash sequel. Um, the Survive is more like sort of Fire Emblem, or in my case, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, but there are a little bit, little bit of of the Wonder Swan kind of isometric battling in there. Villainous, uh, the board game. Yeah, I like Villainous a lot. Fun game. 31, love season 1 and 2. Hell yeah. 32, season 1 and 2, baby. 30 and 3 month, 90 squad. Hey, what's up? Wiss? Is that I'm saying that right? Or is it Wise? What's my favorite Super Mario character? <laughs> um, I want to go like deep cut. You know what I mean? I want to go like the bullies from 64. The eel from 64. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the original characters from Doki Doki Panic. But, um... I don't know, I guess Wario, because I love the WarioWare games. Wario? Wario? I don't know how I say that. Um, Bowser! You ain't wrong, Leo. You ain't wrong. I, I like... I've always been a fan of the WarioWare games. We really need WarioWare on Switch. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are pretty good. Don't really like, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about Let's Go. I, I didn't mind Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I feel like people overhated those. Um, I would love a Let's Go Johto. Let's hope some of those Johto hints are paying off, but they won't be. Diamond and Pillar remakes are definitely coming. The versus Blackheart. Mixed cartoons. Shy Guys. 20, I got into Digimon because of a VHS from my local library. Crazy. Digimon Next Door, and now I'm thinking of a game where you can next door neighbor is also a tamer. It could be either your rival or your crush, like a Digimon dating sim. Sorry, Next Order. I'm a lot more... I pr over pronunciate in videos, but when I'm just chatting, I'm a bit of a fucking mumbler sometimes. Also, excuse the Pepsi Max bottle. <sighs> One calorie of goodness. Right, I think that's what we're going to do. We've got an hour out of this, even though I finished opening cards half an hour ago or an hour ago. Um, thank you guys so much, Kanal. Like I say, if you do want to. Oh, Daniel's back. I'm just leaving. Sorry, Daniel. Let's go Pichu and let's go Togepi, I think would be good for Johto. Or they might just get a, like forget about the um Digim uh, the Pokemon and just the baby Pokemon and just do like let's go Lugia and Ho or something. Yeah, no, Fanake, same in the UK. Yeah, we have a sugar tax. Um I always try to drink diet drinks even when I'm not dieting, just so I'm not imbibing many calories. Uh but I am back on my weight loss journey right now, so Digimon VB cannot be coming out sooner for me. Uh, but I always try to try. I like I prefer the flavor of Pepsi Max to regular Pepsi. And yeah, it's cheaper. Honestly, hate a Let's Go Pichu and Togepi. Just let me... Right, well, yeah, that's my only real thing, is I absolutely adore the Goto starters. I do live in the UK, Daniel. I live in Wales. Hey, what's up, Cody? I'm going to be leaving in a minute, bud. But thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, go broke on sugar tax. I constantly crave sugar. Still use your boy, Crimson Dragon. Pepsi Max. So it's a sugar free version of Pepsi. It's been out for years in the UK. Uh, you live in Wales too? Hey, what's up, Baron? Come around, Beth. Um, I, uh, it's been out for like literally decades in the UK. But I guess America doesn't really have it. Dagenham, shouts. Down south, right? And in London, or in London? Hikarita, favorite Jota starter. I, Miguel, I do play Rear Eyes, and then I don't play it for months. Uh, and then I play it again. I know you lie when you say that, I know. People keep, people keep chatting. I'm a, I'm a man of the people. Weight loss training out too. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I lost a bunch of weight in 2017. Um, and then put it all back on again. Because, uh, food. Uh, I, I was, I was really thin for a while there. So we're trying to get back to that. I'm in a good headspace mentally and stuff as well. America does have Pepsi Max, apparently. Wales, mostly in Abra Abrastwith or Uh Yeah, that's... I like, that's like... I'm trying not to dox myself. I've been to Pocheli. <laughs> used to drink so much Pepsi Max that it's kind of an inside joke with my friends. I like Ring Fit, but it's... 
It's one of those games where I'm like, hmm. Oh, it's lit for it? Yeah, I like Ring Fit. But it's one of those games that I'm like, oh, I'll play that once and then a week later I forgot I've done it. Or I forgot I should be doing it. Yeah, I was, so I started uh, at the start of the year and the pandemic hit and I was just like, you know what I mean? If I'm about to fucking die, I may as well at least eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> T60 back in March. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like people either got really healthy this year or just sacked it off and I sacked it off. Um, but then you came nice, Daniel. And Brianna Espion would be cool too. Yeah. But yeah, there's, this year should be exciting. I mean, we should have a lot of content, Digimon-wise, obviously, and then stream-wise. Uh, I, I don't live near Pokalina, actually. Let me Google. Hold on. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me geo-guess a Pokali in comparison to where I am. Uh, yeah, you know what? I live, I, I live right next door to Pokali. Definitely. Definitely, that's where I live. Hundred percent. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Digimon gets the love it should. Yeah, I hope twenty twenty one is the year. I really do. I think there's a lot of good stuff coming for Digimon. Um, and obviously all the games I love as well. New King of Fighters is coming out. Happy, happy boy. When is Digimon Survive going to come out? We don't know yet, Daniel. Hopefully this year, but. The long name trans the long name and train station, yeah. Not only have I been to it, I can pronounce it. Here's my Welsh card, you ready? I was <clears throat> like every Welsh person's party trick. <laughs> it's uh I think it's the longest town name in the world, or at least one of them. Uh, there's another one in New Zealand, which is a ridiculously long name. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I might end up getting that Imperial Algermon figure. I'm not really good at model kits, but I thought it might be a nice stream for us to chill out. Uh, so, yeah. 2021, the year of the horse, Digimon. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I do appreciate it. I would go for longer, but I've literally got nothing to do. I can't play the game or anything. But the same vital, the vital band is released in the same month as summer break. Man, I haven't been in school in so long or college or anything. I am, I, I don't even know when the kids broke up for like Christmas and shit. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people will call it Slime Vi PG. I don't think there's any Welsh person who, other than proving to non Welsh people, uh, will ever use its full name pretty much. I think everywhere but even the train station sign, it's always abbreviated to Slime Vi PG. Because, yeah, it's a long a long word to say. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to go driving to Clan Vipok and get a Quintrobal today. No one knows Poland and Digimon. There's definitely a lot less people in the UK I know that like Digimon. But there's still a contingent. Oh, it's okay, Kyle. I'm really sorry. I am going to be heading off now. But thank you so much for calling it out. Uh, thank you for coming out, rather. Danny, uh, but we need to give some thanks because you guys are all lovely. Bless she cottons. Uh, yeah, take it easy, Tippy. So I'm gonna say, do, 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 do. where are we now? Where are we now? There we go. So thank you to Wally, Talis, Shasta, uh, Lake, Blood Red Raven, Metal Paper Mario, Weird, Weirdo Reggie, Cakey, Azak of Blades, Naki to me. Oh my God, I'm gonna say Naki, Defense Man, and Bread Talons, all for following on Twitch. Thank you so much. And Sensei Serial for the 9.99 Super Chat. Killing it. Thank you so much. I didn't expect any money, so that's very kind of you. And all of you for hanging out. It means a lot. Thank you so much for subscribing. Rocket in towards 10k. If you know someone that likes Digimon content, I don't think anyone ever goes, hey, I like this YouTuber. You should watch them. But tell them anyway. Let's get to 10k. Then we'll have a crazy 10k stream, okay? All right. Thank you so much, guys. And until the next one, hope you all have a lovely evening, day, or etc. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, let's go digital. Bye, guys. <laughs>